Well, the news isn't stopping today. It's going to be a big week for news, right? I just, I get this feeling we're only, what, on Tuesday? The news is going to keep coming. We now know, at least based on, you know, these are rumors, of course, uh, but we now know based on Jeff Grubb when Microsoft's E3 conference is coming. And more importantly for all of you guys, we might have a great idea of Nintendo's plans for Zelda, in particular, a certain game back here during E3. All right, so today we had a number of things happen. We've been talking a lot about some stuff Samus Hunter has said, but before we get into that, because she dives into some comments on Zelda due to something Jeff Grubb said uh, during his Jeff Grubb great game message he did today, Jeff Grubb being a video game journalist uh, who does a Tuesday show where he talks about all of the things uh, that he is hearing in the industry and the people he's talked to. Uh, and one thing he did mention, and this is something he is you know, kind of putting his stamp on, is that Microsoft will be announcing uh, their E3 plans this week, and those plans are to do their show on June 13th. So not day one of E3, but day two. So on Sunday, June 13th, which also I believe is the day of the PC gaming show, which I guess could make sense because then all of Microsoft games could be shown at a single setting. But what I find interesting, uh, obviously, is not what Microsoft is doing, because we'll be live covering that and all that. It's what Nintendo might be doing, because Jeff Grubb said something there. Someone asked him, how sure are you that Breath of the Wild 2 is going to be at E3? And essentially, he doesn't really know. Uh, he's leaning towards, you know, 51% chance it's going to be at E3. Uh, but he said, even if it's at E3 or not at E3, or even if it is, that they're likely going to do another Zelda event within three weeks and that kind of sparked some conversation because he basically doesn't know he just knows zelda blowout's coming he thinks part of it's going to happen at e3 and have breath of the wild 2 because it's kind of a shadow being cast over everything everyone's waiting and nintendo keeps apologizing for not showing it so it's one of those it's probably going to be at e3 how much of it's going to be at e3 i don't know but that's where we get to samus hunter who decided in wake of jeff grubb talking about it to reveal even more details which shocks me sometimes because i think i asked samus hunter if she knew more and I, she didn't at the time but she must be hearing things this week because Jeff Grubb also mentioned that he expects Nintendo to announce their E3 plans this week and uh, if you're wondering what Nintendo might be doing for E3 it's actually sounding pretty exciting and you're going to want to tune in all four days right here because it sounds like we're getting Nintendo goodness all four days so Samus Hunter chimed in and said one person asked me what her thoughts were on at Jeff Grubb live from a half hour ago when he talked about the sequel to Breath of the Wild and the possibility of more reveals of the game after the E3 presentation. Two hour prior, she did say something similar, how there could be more stuff going on with that sequel, maybe after E3 or whatever. But she wants to uh, get into some things she has heard are possible plans for what Nintendo's doing with this game at E3. So the risk of the Breath of the Wild sequel overshadowing other titles is worth considering as one of Nintendo's priorities is to show the new titles novelty and gameplay like they did at E3 2016. Nintendo is looking to make the most of all the days at E3. So she follows this up by saying uh, with several live shows are going to happen at E3 including the Treehouse. One of the possible plans uh, was precisely to devote an entire day of Treehouse Live to Zelda titles, in particular the sequel. Otherwise, a possible future live dedicated primarily to the title is not excluded. So what she's saying here is that there, included in Nintendo's possible E3 plans is one, this is maybe the biggest thing, forget Breath of the Wild for a second, Nintendo's planning to do Treehouse stuff every single day of E3. So Nintendo is, you're wondering, when's Nintendo doing their conference? It's happening June 12th. It's got to be, right? If they're going to be doing something June 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th, you think they're going to start with Treehouse Live before they start with their event? No. To me, this means Nintendo's happening June 12th, Treehouse on the 13th, 14th, and 15th. Probably Treehouse on the 12th a little bit as well. And that Treehouse Live will, like, will naturally take up time slots and be part of the E3 event. And this would be why we haven't heard Nintendo announce anything, because they're actually doing something for all of E3, including having a dedicated day. Now, it's going to be interesting to see if Treehouse Live isn't part of that, and that's Nintendo doing it on the side on its own, and then they do day-long live streams. 
gosh, that's going to be um, that's going to throw a wrench in some of our plans. But we will still make it happen. I don't think Nintendo's going to. I don't know. Maybe they will. Maybe they just they don't they don't care what anyone else is doing. They're just going to do what they want. But I feel like it's going to be part of the ESA event, and the ESA would want to work with Nintendo to include it in part of their event because it obviously will draw big audiences. So I think that this is going to be part of the ESA event, and. An, the fact that there might be an entire day dedicated to Zelda titles and titles. So not just Breath of the Wild, the sequel, but obviously Skyward Sword HD and whatever else Nintendo decides to announce at E3. This is exciting and it does not preclude the fact that there would be a follow-up Zelda event to happen some weeks later that's going to carry additional information, especially likely for Breath of the Wild 2, the sequel. So this is exciting. Now again, she's not guaranteeing this is what happens, although she has guaranteed Breath of the Wild 2 will be at E3. But now she's saying, look, it's not only going to be at E3. Nintendo's considering to dedicate an entire day to Zelda, including focusing on Breath of the Wild, and they want to blow it out like they did at E3 2016. Guys, E3 2016 was essentially all Zelda. They talked about some other games on Treehouse, but, I mean, nothing else really mattered. It was just Zelda, Zelda, Zelda. So let me just tell you right now, if Samus Hunter is wrong on all this stuff, I'm going to be extremely upset because now my hype levels for E3 went from like here to I'm cranked to like 115 degrees, man. I am just so like Breath of the Wild 2 is my most anticipated game. It's the sequel to my favorite video game of all time. And so like this has me pumped and I swear if Samus Hunter is getting me hyped for nothing, um, I'm going to be very upset about that. So my expectations are to see the game, and I talked about the potential of it being at Treehouse Live. Now she's saying a whole day dedicated to Zelda Treehouse Live is something Nintendo is considering in their plans. Yes! Hell yes! That is what I want to hear. Nintendo, it is time for you to announce your E3 plans. We need to know when your showcase is happening, what time, and we need to know when your Treehouse Live events are happening. And if you're going to have a day dedicated to Zelda, please announce it ahead of time. In fact, Breath of the Wild 2 is a game already announced. Just like Zelda Wii U back in 2016, you teased that that is what you were going to get at E3. You could tease it again this time around as we are going to talk about Breath of the Wild 2 at E3. And that's already going to hype people. We need some official announcements. Please. Also of note, uh, on the 27th, so in two days, uh, there is a Sonic 30th anniversary event happening at 11 a.m. Central Time. We'll be live streaming it right here, live reacting to all of that glorious Sonic news. There's a Dragon Quest event tomorrow. I got to check the time on that to see if I'll be live streaming reacting to that. It's got to see if it fits into my schedule. And then there's also in two days on the same day as Sonic is a Horizon Forbidden West state of play, which we also might live react to if it fits within my schedule. So this is exciting. Things are ramping up. Summer Game Fest on June 12th, uh, on June 10th, sorry, we have E3 June 12th to the 15th, Microsoft Showcase on the 13th, PC Gaming Show, Ubisoft Forward on the 12th, uh, we know that, Square Enix is going to be there, a whole bunch of big things happening, oh and by the way, there's supposed to be a big Pokemon Presents sometime in the next two weeks before E3, Samus Hunter is hinting maybe June 2nd, but it could be any time, this is exciting, I am hyped to the extreme! My hype level is over 9,000. And I hope you guys decided to join us for all of our E3 2021 coverage, whether it's live or after the fact with additional videos and podcasts. Thank you so much for tuning in. And my Zyda, the hype levels are ready to explode. Catch you in the next video.